What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Des and today I have Laura Gerald <laughs> Geraldo's <laughs> 12 3:30. I have Laura Gerard Oh my god, I can't say it. Laura Gerard <laughs> Geraldo. <laughs> hey. What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Des and today I have my results and review for 12330. I actually found this 12330 treadmill challenge on TikTok and the girl who did it seemed to have good results so I thought I would give it a try. What it is is you set your treadmill to an incline of 12, a speed of 3, and you do that for 30 minutes. I'm not really a big fan of cardio. But this girl I watch on Instagram, her name is Organic Olivia, had also started this month of walking for March and she even had like a calendar set up. So I used that and I filled it in whatever I did my walks just to keep me accountable. I did my walks for 12 days and that was over a course of about three-ish weeks, maybe two and a half weeks. So I was walking about four to five times a week and I took weekends off mostly and I also was only able to use an incline of 10 because my parents treadmill does not have an incline of 12. When I first started it was really hard. I was in at a minute and 30 seconds and I was like I cannot do this for 30 minutes straight. I was a little scared and I was profusely sweating and I mean, I made it, but it was hard. I was holding the rails most of the time. Um, yeah, it was pretty tough. Once I got a little more comfortable, I would let the rails go more often. And I even started to increase my speed up to 3.3 instead of just the three. And that was actually a good amount of speed to go. So um, I would try to do that for about five to eight minutes, mostly towards the last like six days of um, the walkings that I had done. And I also wore a sweat belt, which is just this thing you wrap around your stomach and it's supposed to make you sweat more, but I'm not really sure. Honestly, I really didn't think I was getting any results, which was kind of discouraging until I went to my parents' house this weekend and my mom said that my face looks a little skinnier and I was like, hmm, <laughs> really? And then my dad was like, yeah, that you look like you're skinnier a little bit and he's not the kind of person to go telling you you look skinny or anything so I knew he had to be telling the truth and then he went and he texted me during this week asking me what I did on the treadmill that helped me lose the weight. That really drove it in for me that I was getting results from just walking for 12 days doing this challenge. Unfortunately, I did not take my weight. Don't ask me why, I just completely forgot. <laughs> I know it sucks, but I didn't gain any, which is good. So for my, I did take my measurements, like always. So my measurement before at my waist was 32 and 14 sixteenths. And then it went down to 32 and 1 fourth. So nearly 3 quarter inches, which is pretty good. And then the measurement around my stomach at my belly button went from 36 and 3 sixteenths to 35 and a half inches, which is really, really good. I mean, I've had three kids. I carry most of my weight around my midsection. So just to get some of that lower or like mid belly inches gone, it's pretty nice. My thigh, I did my right upper thigh and that actually increased by a quarter of an inch. It went from 21 and three quarters to 22 inches. And my before and after pictures, side by side, there is a little bit of a difference that I see, but for sure the icing is that my parents noticed and I mean for me I see myself every day I'm I kind of notice that my double chins a little 
<laughs> less double chinny. I have a very small jaw, so the double chin is going to be popping most of the time forever, but it's a lot smaller than it used to be, which is cool. So if you're looking to lose some inches, just maybe shed some pounds, I definitely suggest trying this challenge. It definitely can't hurt. Walking is super good for your brain and just getting the blood flow, oxygenation, all that good stuff. So yeah, those are my results. A little bit, but non-scale results are always fun. People noticing is always even better. Just goes to show you're your own worst critic. So if even if you're not seeing it, other people might be. So yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification button so you never miss a video. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.